Hi guys, this is Victor with DIY Time Tech and in this video I'm going to review my new tool that I just got and it's a car battery analyzer made by Ncell. The model number is BST200. The tool comes in this plastic packaging and it has a list of all of the features in the back. Well, let's go ahead and open it. We've got the owner's manual inside and the tool itself. That's it. My first impressions, this tool is pretty well built. It's pretty good quality. Uh, it's very small and compact and it doesn't have a built-in battery because it's going to be powered from the battery that you're going to be testing. Now let's set it aside for now and let's take a quick glance at the owner's manual. Here we can find all of the technical specifications and the instructions how to use this tool. It should be pretty helpful information and this booklet is fairly small so it should be pretty quick and easy read. The materials quality is pretty good and this tool feels pretty solid, no questions here. The buttons feel sturdy and they are easy to press, they're making this clicking sound as an instant feedback. The terminals clamps are looking good too, they're pretty well built and they look very nice. I don't see any obvious imperfections here. The cables look good, they seem to be pretty thick and I like the fact that they are soldered onto the battery clamps. Now let's go ahead and test this tool and first I would like to use this battery I have right here. It's a known bad battery, it has a bad cell in it. Let's see if this tool is going to be able to detect the problem with this battery. Let's connect the terminals, red for the plus and black for the minus. And the tool is powering up here, We're getting 10.3 volts here. And let's go ahead and enter the menu. Here we've got battery test, view previous result, language. The options are English, Spanish, French, Dutch, Netherlands, Italian, Portuguese, Polish, Turkish and Russian. And the last option is the version information. Let's go back and let's enter the battery test now. Our battery location is outside of the vehicle. On the next screen we need to select the battery type. Available options are regular, AGM and gel. In my case it's going to be AGM battery. Next we're going to need to select the battery standard and here we have 8 options to choose from. You can usually find all of this information right on the battery label. Over here it says the battery type, AGM, and here we can find 4 different ratings for this battery. Also keep in mind this tool only works with automotive lead acid types of batteries and you're not going to be able to use it with any lithium batteries. You can determine what type of battery you have by looking at this recycle logo that says lead on it. I'm going to use the CCA standard, which stands for cold cranking amps, and I'm going to set it for 450 amps, and then I'm going to hit the enter button. The test only takes a few seconds to run. Now let's take a look at the results. On the top it says replace the battery, so this tool indeed determined that the battery was bad. It shows that we're getting 10 volts, while we should be getting 12 instead. It measured 58 cold cranking amps while the battery was rated for 450. Let's press the next button to get to the next page. Next line shows the status of health and we're getting 14%, which is really, really low. And from my experience, if you get anything lower than 40%, that battery is no longer good and it should be replaced. Next line shows the status of charge and I'm getting 0%. I did try to charge this battery, but it would not take any charge and it would start overheating instead. And the last line shows the resistance, we're getting 41.67 mega ohms. Alright, so far so good, the tool did pretty well on this bad battery test. Now I'm gonna move on to my family SUV where I have the same exact battery, but this time it's in a good working condition. So let's go ahead and run the test here and this time I'm gonna use a cranking amps rating just to show you the difference. So this time I'm getting proper voltage, I got good measured cranking amps. The status of health is 100% and the status of charge is also 100%. So we've got a perfectly healthy good battery here which is great. Let's go ahead and test another battery and this is my daily driver and this battery should be in a good shape too. And sure enough I'm getting good voltage here, good cranking amps. The status of charge is 100%, status of health is 98%, which is nothing to worry about, pretty good too. Next I want to test this car, it has a bad transmission that's on its way out and for that reason I don't drive this car very often and it's mostly sitting on the driveway and very often the battery just gets completely discharged. Let's see if this tool will be able to pick that up. 
This battery is rated for 675 cranking amps. All right, I'm getting good voltage here, which is good, but the measured cranking amps are not looking that great. The status of health is 48%, which is getting really low. I think when it gets to 40% or lower, the battery is gonna be done. The status of charge is 44%, which I think is pretty accurate. I haven't been driving this car for two or three weeks now, and normally if I don't drive it for a month, the battery usually gets completely drained. So I would say this tool is doing a pretty good job testing the battery so far. Next up is my lawnmower here, and it has been driven for a few months now during the winter season, so I expect the battery to be completely drained. And just like I expected, this battery doesn't even have enough juice to power up the analyzer tool. I left this battery charging overnight, now let's go ahead and test it. This one is rated for 230 cold cranking amps, but all I'm getting is 131 cold cranking amps. The battery status says good recharge, and the status of health is at 48%, which is getting really low. But what concerns me the most is the status of charge. It only shows 38%, even though the battery was charging the entire night. So I went ahead and put it on charge again for at least 12 hours, but I could never get more than 38%, which tells me that this battery is no longer good. And by the way, never repeat my mistakes, never allow lead acid batteries to completely discharge, because if you let this happen a few times, your battery performance will start to deteriorate very rapidly. Instead, get yourself a battery charger and maintainer and keep your batteries properly charged at all times, even if they're not in use. And finally, the main reason why I got this tool is because I wanted to test the batteries in my kid's electric scooter. It stopped working a few days ago and before I buy new batteries I want to make sure that's the problem and not some sort of issue with wiring, a circuit board or electrical motor. This scooter has two lead acid batteries and you can tell that by looking at this label right here. But unfortunately these batteries didn't have any ratings listed anywhere so I had to estimate and just by looking at the size, I would say they probably have 100 to 120 cold cranking amps. So I tested the battery separately and the first one got 12 volts and it's got 120 cold cranking amps. The status of health was 84%, which is pretty good. And the status of charge was at 100%, which is really good. So this one is a pretty good working battery. Next, I tried to test the second battery and that's where the problem was. The tool would shut off every single time I would try to run the test and I couldn't do anything. Which tells me that this battery is no longer good and it needs to be replaced. So in the end using this tool I was able to properly diagnose the problem with the scooter and I ended up buying one battery instead of two which saved me about 25 to 30 dollars. Which is almost as much as I paid for this tool. So this battery analyzer practically already paid for itself. And if you're interested I'm gonna post a link in the description area below where you can check out the current prices for it. So the bottom line, I think it's a pretty decent and very useful basic entry-level battery analyzer that could be a good addition to your toolbox if you like working on your own cars. And I think it will help you eliminate a lot of guessing from troubleshooting your battery problems. All right, that's pretty much it. I hope this video is helpful. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.